My name is Carmen Lejeune Hickson, and I'm going to recite some poems that I learned in my youth. The first will be Dreams by Langston Hughes. And I really do like this poem because it sort of gives hope to any kind of disparity. The poem goes like this. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken-winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams go, life is a barren field, frozen with snow. The next poem is of particular interest to me because it shows the difficulty that black parents have always had in raising their boys. Then this has been true since the forced entry of blacks in America back in 1619. The name of the poem is Mother to Son, and it was written by Langston Hughes. Well, son, I'll tell you, life for me ain't been no crystal stare. It's had tacks in it, and splinters, and boards torn up, and places with no carpet on the floor, bare. But all the time, I's been a climbing on, and reaching landings, and turning corners, and sometimes going in the dark where there ain't been no light. So boy, don't you stop now. Don't you sit down on the steps cause you find it's kinda hard. For eyes still going, honey, eyes still still climbing, and life for me ain't been no crystal stair. The next poem is called A Psalm of Life, and it was written by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. This poem is particularly poignant to me because my father taught it to me when I was a little girl. I have retained it in my memory since that day. Tell me not in mournful numbers, life is but an empty dream. For the soul is dead that slumbers, and things are not what they seem. Life is real. Life is earnest. And the grave is not its goal. Dust thou art, to dust returnest, was not spoken of the soul. Not enjoyment, and not sorrow is our destined end or way, but to act that each tomorrow finds us farther than today. Art is long and time is fleeting, and our hearts, though stout and brave, still 
like muffled drums are beating funeral marches to the grave. Let us then be up and doing with a heart for any fate, still achieving, still pursuing, learn to labor and to wait. The next poem shows the divisiveness of America. This poem was written by County Cullen in the early 20th century, but it still holds true today. The name of the poem is Incident. Once riding in old Baltimore, heart filled, head filled with glee, I saw a Baltimorean keep looking straight at me. Now I was eight and very small, and he was no whit bigger, and so I smiled but he poked out his tongue and called me nigger. I saw the whole of Baltimore from May until December of all the things that happened there. That's all that I remember. The next poem was written by Maya Angelou, and it's called Phenomenal Woman. And for me, it's like uh, an inner song for every black woman. Pretty women wonder where my secret lies. I'm not cute or built to suit a fashion model size, but when I start to tell them, they think I'm telling lies. I say, it's in the reach of my arms, the span of my hips, the stride of my step, the joy of my lips. I'm a woman. Phenomenally, phenomenal woman, that's me. I walk into a room just as cool as you please. And to a man, the fellows stand or fall down on their knees. Then they swarm around me, a hive of honeybees. I say, it's the fire in my eyes, the flash of my teeth, the swing in my waist, the joy in my feet. I'm a woman, phenomenally, phenomenal woman, that's me. Men themselves have wondered, what they see in me. They try so much, but they can't touch my inner mystery. When I start to tell them, they say they still can't see. I say it's in the arch of my back, the sun of my smile, the ride of my breast and the grace of my style. I'm a woman, phenomenally, phenomenal woman, that's me. Now you understand just why my head's not bowed. I don't shout 
or jump about or have to talk real loud when you see me passing it ought to make you proud I say it's in the click of my heels the bend of my hair the palm of my hands the need for my care cause I'm a woman, phenomenally, phenomenal woman, that's me. Uh, he would do things from Shakespeare. Uh, he just loved poetry, and so I learned quite a bit of my poetry from him. He was a definite inspiration. Do you write any poetry? Or I love poetry? writing poetry. I love creative writing of all sorts. Uh, short stories, plays, and poetry. Do you have any books of poetry that you've written? I've written one that I'm especially proud of. is a book of poems that I wrote for my grandchildren. At the time that I wrote it, I had three grandchildren. Now I have five, but I wrote a book of poems for them, and in that book, they each had a song, and I wrote the song out for them so that it could be documented for a long time. Okay, I'm done. Is that enough?